Hey guys, welcome back. So iOS 18 is officially out and it's packed with a ton of awesome features. Today we are going to dive into some of the top features that you'll definitely want to check out. First up, we have improved lock screen customization. You know those default camera and flashlight shortcuts on your lock screen? Well, with iOS 18, now you can swap them out for any shortcut you like. What's really cool is that these shortcuts are linked with each profile. That means you can set different shortcuts for each profile. For example, in my sleep profile, I've got Audible as a shortcut because I like listening to audiobooks before bed. It's a simple way to personalize your lock screen to fit your needs. Next, we have home screen customization iOS 18 gives you more control over how your home screen looks. You can now arrange your app icons and widgets however you like. They still snap to the grid, but you can place them anywhere now, making your layout feel more personalized. Under customization settings, you can also make your app icons look bigger, which also hides the app names. And honestly, it looks pretty sleek. You can switch to dark icons or set them to change automatically. So during the day, you'll have light icons and at night, they go dark. Super convenient and easy on the eyes. You can also tint all your icons with any color now. Did you know you can have the whole screen turn black and white? You can do so by moving the bottom slider all the way to the right. Now you know. Moving on to camera enhancements. A small but welcome change in camera app is the new camera timer option. Now we have got 5 second timer option. Before it was 3 seconds and 10 seconds. And honestly 3 seconds always felt too short while 10 is way too long. Especially when you're trying to get photos with kids or your dog. Next update is about how you record videos with your iPhone. Make sure you're on the latest version of iOS to see this. When recording videos in the camera app, you will now see a pause button on the left hand side. With this, you can pause the video then resume recording by clicking it again. iPhone will create one seamless video for you. It's perfect if you're into creating reels or short content. Before you had to record continuously or stitch clips together. This makes the whole process way smoother now. Next on the list is Photos App Redesign. One of the best changes is the updated utility section. It has more options now, making it easier to find the photo you're looking for. If you scroll all the way down and click on customize and reorder, now you can change the order and even disable these sections completely. In the photos app with its new AI powered editing tools, it is easier than ever to get rid of unwanted objects from photos. And it works like a magic. Next, we have the new Passwords app. This new app lets you store all your login details in one place and keep it all well organized for you. It syncs across all your devices just like everything else in Apple ecosystem, making it super easy to access your passwords whenever you need them. Another nice touch is improved settings area. In iOS 18, they have made a small but very welcome change in the settings area. Now, all the individual app settings are neatly organized under Apps section. It's a small tweak, but it makes a big difference. Things don't feel as cluttered anymore, and it's way easier to find what you're looking for. Speaking of small improvements, when you click on any of the side buttons, the screen edge slightly indents, which is a great addition. It's a subtle touch, but it makes the whole experience feel more polished. The calculator app in iOS 18 has gotten a major overhaul. First up, there's a history feature, so you can now refer back to your past calculations. No more losing track of what you have just worked out. The app now includes scientific calculator, math notes, and conversion options. These new additions are super handy whether you're crunching numbers for work, school, or everyday use. I never thought Apple would add this feature, but I'm really happy that it's part of iOS 18 now. You can now record calls on your iPhone. All you have to do is to click the icon on the top left corner of the call screen and you're set. It does announce that the call is being recorded before it starts recording. All recordings are saved directly into the Notes app. Personally, I wish it had its own interface, like voicemail does. 
but either way it's a great feature to have and i'm really happy that it's part of ios 18. another cool addition is the update with the charging limit options in ios 18 now you can have more options for setting your charging limit before you could only stop at 80 percent but now you can customize it further with these options this means you can charge most of the battery while still preserving its lifespan giving you more flexibility depending on your needs and there you have it top ios features that absolutely change the way you use your iphones now i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one